today's video, we're going to share our Christmas list. We're in the mall. So we got Brennan. He is, um, we beamed, beamed him in from college. <laughs> Tapping in, uh, this year for Christmas, I would like... Hey everybody, welcome to today's vlog. I am Jill and this is It's the Donnellys. If you are first time watchers and you have never met us before, I'm the mom, the kids are at school, dad's working. <laughs> anyway, I'm so excited because today I just put in our new, well, we have this, we've had this chalkboard for a long time, but I wrote my new message today, 23 days until Christmas. So we'll change that every day. Maybe we'll go back to doing some jokes. I know you guys like the Christmas jokes that we did last year. Um, look at, I just collected all these things, putting these away and we are doing the house changeover for Christmas, which is so very exciting to me. Um, it is absolutely our most favorite season. So what we're going to do is I've started to take all the Thanksgiving stuff away, which is, there's not a ton of it, but we're going to, um, this weekend decorate the house and then we're going to wait to get our Christmas tree, which has been a ton of consternation between Katie and Ryan. We're going to wait till Brennan gets home from college. So he gets home from college in a week and then we're going to go get our Christmas tree, which they're very upset about because, well, first of all, they want Brennan to be with us when we get the Christmas tree, but they think that there's not going to be any Christmas trees left, which is pretty possible actually. So we tried to come up with a lot of different solutions. Like, could we get the Christmas tree early without Brendan and then wait till Brendan comes home to decorate it? Or should we actually be waiting for Brendan to get the Christmas tree? Or should we have gotten one when we were in Florida, when we were all together and drive it back here and decorate it? There's been a lot of, um, a lot of sort of thoughts and ideas going around. And ultimately we decided, not Katie and Ryan, but dad and I decided that we were going to wait until Brendan comes home. We will go get a tree. Normally we go to a tree farm and we cut it down. Um, but, as of now, even our friend who goes to the same place was there and said they're, they're all gone. So I don't know that we're going to be actually be able to cut a tree down. We do that every year, but you know what? My, maybe we'll start new traditions, you know, cause life is changing. Brennan's in school and next year, Katie might likely be in school as well. So, um, our season is sort of a little bit different. So it'll be fun regardless. It'll be totally fun. But in the meantime, today is today's video. We're going to share our Christmas list. Well, not me, but I think the kids are going to share their Christmas list. Kaden might jump in there as well, too. Trying to get Brennan to FaceTime. We'll see if he'll FaceTime in and share his as well. But one thing I do want to share with you, and mom, if you're watching now, turn this off. <laughs> this is the gift I'm getting you, is I'm, I want to share with you guys this awesome gift. I've had my eye on this for a few years. And this year, the fr my friends at StoryWorth reached out to me and said, Hey, how do you feel about promoting StoryWorth and telling your audience about it? I'm like, Oh my gosh, that has been on my list. And I just haven't done it. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited to do this. So well, while I haven't done it yet, um, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about it because this is definitely the gift I'm giving my mom this year, my mom and dad actually. So StoryWorth is a, it's like an online service where what you do is you purchase a sp subscription and then each week you have, you, uh, you choose a question to be sent to your loved one. So for example, I'm buying this for my mom and each week throughout the year, I decide, like there's a bank of questions or you can write your own, what questions will be sent to mom. So she'll get one a week and she'll get to write and answer a question. And the questions are things like, who is the most influential person in your life? What is um, your proudest achievement? Tell us a story from when you were in elementary school, like questions like that. And I have to say that my parents, we ask them to tell us stories all the time. Like I can tell you a gazillion stories that my parents have told. And I always ask my dad, like, you know, so he like kind of grew up on a farm and like, so tell me what it was like. What was it like having chickens? What was it like having cows? What was it like growing your own vegetables? We just don't live that way anymore. So those stories to me are so precious and I don't ever want them to go away. So, uh, so anyway, so I'm giving my mom and dad story worth this year for Christmas. Um, one of the great things about story worth too is like, you don't have to go out and buy it. It's never going to sell out. It's never going to um, be something that's not going to get there in time because you you buy it online and you can deliver it in seconds. So there, you have to don't have to go out and do the hustle bustle of all of that shopping that, you know, oftentimes I'm like, 
my mom doesn't need another thing. I mean, they're just my dad. Like, they don't need another golf shirt. It doesn't need another sweater. Like, let's do something that's important, that's, that's, um, really, um, impactful and meaningful. So each week I decide what, what question is sent to my parents and they can answer the questions. They, and then they email back to StoryWorth and the stories are copied to me. So I get to the, pleasure of reading those stories on a weekly basis as they send them in. At the end of the year, StoryWorth binds it into a book that is then presented. So what I'm going to do next year is I'm going to buy enough books for all of the kids and all of the grandkids. So everybody's going to have a copy of mom and dad's life basically like their their story our friends at story were sent me a, an example of what the book might look like and i had sent in some pictures so this is what the book would look like so my mom is judy so this will be her book and then dad will have his book a collection of judy's life stories so they could actually they could do it together like love we'll two separate books but they can they can um, do it together and we can send them the same questions and all that stuff so anyway that's what it looks like and then let me show you inside this is just a sample of like of what the stories look like inside and some some pictures that might go with it it's a, it's a gorgeous hardbound book so anyway i am sharing with you that that's what i'm going to be giving my parents this year for christmas and i feel like it's a gift for me too because and for our whole family because we'll get to read the stories the other thing the other idea is what you could do too is if you are um a parent or a grandma or grandfather something like that and you wanted to buy story worth where you would fill out everything and then give that gift to your kids or to your grandkids that's a great way to go too in terms of how you might gift story story worth with story worth i am giving those that i love a thoughtful gift from the heart which will preserve their stories for years to come go to storyworth.com slash the donnelly's and save ten dollars on your first purchase hey guys me and Keaton are in the parking lot. We're going Christmas shopping. I'm gonna be getting my gifts for my family and not Kaden yet because I already, I ordered a couple of them and I can't get the ones that I need to get in person with him because then he would know when I got them. Maybe we'll show you what we got, maybe not. It's kind of a surprise. See you in there. Hi Kaden. What'd you get? Don't tell us. Containers. Oh, it's for, he didn't get stuff for his parents. Ooh, can you lift this down onto the curb for me? I can't show you my cart because it has mom's present. Oh, that's mine. It's, it's in there. It's in the top, but you can't see it because mom's gonna edit this video. All right, we're in the mall. Kaden has his William Snow Maggie's <laughs> embarrassed to hold it. I think it's funny. No, I'm not embarrassed to hold it. Yes, I'm you are. I'm embarrassed to go back in. He's like asking me to hold it. I no, just got, no, 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 no. I just got Molly's I'm, I'm Christmas present. I'm embarrassed to go, I'm fine holding it. I just don't want to go back in because I just bought it yesterday and they, they forced me into buying it. So now I'm just <laughs> anyway. right. Well, I'll return it for you. Anyway, so I just got Molly's Christmas present, which is fantastic because I knew exactly what to get her. And, um,. Because Molly never, actually, I can't tell you guys what it is because I don't want her to see this. She's not going to watch this video, but just in case. Um, what's next? Oh, we have to, I'm going to go return Caden's thing. And then, what are we going after that? Oh, I have some ideas. I'll let you guys know. All right, I got my dad's present. I always get my dad's socks, so it's not like a surprise. But, um... I think I might get Ryan some shoes, but I don't know. Wait, is it for Vans or for like any shoes? For Vans? <laughs> okay, cool. All right, bye guys. Hey, I got, this is Ryan's present in the brown bag, Molly's present in the white bag, and dad's present in the yellow bag. It's exciting. Catch you guys. Now we're in Sam's Club. We didn't find anything. Yeah. Can you look happy? Can you hear me? I'm so tired. I know. We've been walking around a lot. Ooh. School supplies. Can I get my mom the fridge? Oh, I need pencils. How do I? We get distracted easily, the two of us. Um, okay, this is adorable. Isn't that cute? That's cool. Home media try. Okay, me and Kate are leaving now. It's we've been here for too long. We've been out for too long. We yeah. need to go take a nap. Yeah, it's good. All right. <laughs> All right, you guys. I promised you earlier in the video that today. Oh, sorry about it. I didn't mean to get in front of you there. <laughs> so today we are going to share our Christmas list. At least the kids are going to share their Christmas list. So this is the part of the video where we're going to do that. Actually, and two of them are adults. 
Two of them are adults. Caden and Brennan are both adults. Yeah, Caden turned 18. August 14th. Yo. So we got Brennan. He is, um, we beamed, beamed him in from college. And hopefully he's talking loud enough so you can hear him. Brennan, you might need to scream a little bit so people can hear what you have. Okay, fantastic. So we're kind of going to do this in a lightning, lightning way, but each person is going to share one of their list and we'll go down and do about five items. Does that sound good? That works. Mm -hmm. Ready? All right, who wants to start? Should we go youngest to oldest, Brendan? I like it. Okay. That's how we do it on real Christmas. Okay, Ryan. Now, last year we did middle. We started the middle last year. Yeah, because I made the point that you always start with the oldest or the youngest and you never start with the middle. Mm -hmm. Well, that's dumb. Uh, I want a weighted blanket. Hey, wait, may I would like to have, I want, come on. Give me a weighted blanket. Okay, <laughs> exactly. We're gonna do this very kindly for Christmas. I'm sorry, I didn't know everybody. I was on Santa's lap. I'm so okay. Okay, everybody, this is how we're gonna say. For Christmas this year, I would like. I always say, say that. I know I you I brought do. up that point, like, where we first started doing these videos, I was like, no, let's do I would like, not yeah, I want. Yeah. Yes. Okay, Ryan, let's start again. For Christmas this year, I would love a weighted blanket. So I, I used one of my boys' weighted blankets while I was at his house, and it's life changing, really. <laughs> my <laughs> turn? Yeah. Yeah. This is my Christmas list. I made a PowerPoint. Um, and the first thing on it. <laughs> yeah. I did. did she really? <laughs> yeah, I shared it. I shared it with everyone. Um, the first thing I would like is all weather mats for my Jeep. Mm -hmm. uh, this is also this is my Christmas list. The first thing I would like is some bathing suits. <laughs> Brennan! Um, let me get a uh, white tie pants. See? <laughs> <laughs> let me get a... <laughs> uh, I, for this year, Christmas, I, I already messed it up. Uh, I would love uh, white and gray Air Maxes. They're shoes from Nike and they're just absolutely beautiful. Okay, we turn the camera around this time so we can get a little closer and see everybody. All right, Katie. The next thing I have on my list of things that I would love are um, a American, an American flag and um, a hitch attachment for my American flag to hang off the back of my car. That's hard. Uh, this year for, for Christmas, I would love hats. <laughs> this might be the most. I actually, I actually got a hat last year and it took him about a week to lose it. But I love, I do love hats though. <clears throat> Tapping in, uh, this year for Christmas, I would like a Jay Herbo jersey. Because oh. I have a jersey of a former Chargers quarterback, but he's kind of old and retired. He's still a Hall of Famer though, don't get it twisted. Yeah. So. <laughs> With the uh, 11th draft in the 2020 Christmas uh, list presentation, uh, I select a shark watch. Cause, Katie, look. This is what a shark watch is, and Katie has one, and I love it so much that I want one. So, taking inspiration from, uh, from Katie. I would like um, cute little like neutral color tank tops so I can layer my clothing. These are some pictures if you want to see. <laughs> <laughs> Katie has links in there and everything, nice. Okay. Next up on the list for me is, it's a little bit pricey, but the 2021 Corvette Stingray. <laughs> That. Don't think I'm getting it, but but you know it's a <laughs> worth a try. Worth a try. Right. Santa's got elves. He can look build a Corvette. exactly. I I put golf cart on my list every year for like seven <laughs> yeah. years. It's worth a shot. <laughs> worth a shot. You know. Anyway, for Christmas I would like some FSU merch because I have some, but you know I need to be dripped out. Right, like every day. Nice. Yeah, like what, Brendan? What are you thinking? Tracksuit, like the joggers with the uh, zip up shirt. I'm just kidding, not actually a tracksuit. <laughs> I, think I was thinking, what, what's that show? What's the show where they wear tracksuits? Maybe a sweatshirt, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the dripped out kickers. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Kind of kidding. Kind of kidding. I was gonna say, some of the kickers are kickers. Oh, you guys, what's that show where they were from Korea, South Korea? Oh, Squid Games. Squid Games, they wear tracksuits, Brennan. Is that what you're thinking? And that wasn't a fashion statement. That was their uniform. But I think that's like what people are. Okay. All right. He asked for white vans and a tracksuit. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how he's going with that one. Sounds, sounds like a lot like going to Korea. Um, uh, an Under Armour golf hoodie. Under Armour came out with this golf hoodie and it's absolutely beautiful. And it's getting really cold. So if I want to golf, I'm going to have to throw on a lot of layers. 
So one of these would be dope. And I don't want to golf in a hoodie, if you know what I'm saying. Nice. Um, I have three different things on this slide, so I'm gonna tell you and then I'll show you when I'm finished with the three. The first thing I have is this cute, chunky, like knit sweater cardigan thing, which I don't want that bad, but it's still on here. My last thing that I would like this year is just a big pack of mechanical pencils. <laughs> they can show them the picture. Oh, whatever floats your boat, man. I'm a always, ton of uh, mechanical pencils. That's I'm, I'm always losing my pencils in school, which makes me so mad. So yeah. I just want to stay strapped with the pencil always. Yeah. And that's it for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wait, you it's, still need yeah, it. Geez. By the All way, right. if you remember, really quick, if you remember our back to school shopping video, Katie didn't let me get like the 80 pack of pencils, and I just got like a 20 pack. And I'm about to run out. Oh. Like, I'm on my last few pencils right now. Oh, I'm Katie. A, a swing and a miss there. For real. For Christmas, I would like some fuzzy moccasins because they're the only thing that has to complete my drip fit. My drip fit is plaid sweatpants and my backstrap jersey and fuzzy moccasins would just put like a muddy touch on the, on the outfit. Um, Brendan, is that jammies or is that an actual outfit? No, nah, it's just like... It's just like off-white. Wait, first of all, RIP Virgil Abloh, but it's like the off-white, like inspired kind of bit. Uh, what's off-white? A uh, brand. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, we're good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. All right. Fuzzy mocks. I <laughs> to like answer it. your question about like the jammies. I'm wearing fuzzy mocks right now, Brendan. Is it like these? It's uh, those are Uggs. Thank you. Kind of piggyback. Oh my gosh! In... Yes. What? Go ahead. Yeah, kind of piggybacking off what Brendan and Mama rocking. These bad boys are so fire. These aren't my mom's, but I'll like, I'll, they'll be on like the living room floor and I'll toss my feet in them and I'm like, dang, these are so oh, comfortable. So these, Brennan, aren't these tough? So is it crazy that Maybe both of my boys are asking for my shoes for Christmas? Is that, <laughs> is that weird? Anyway, I don't know if I want these ones or like the big high boot ones. Anyone would be fire, but I'm saying I'm bringing the Uggs back because they were trying a little bit ago. Bring your Uggs back, and they're gonna be better, and they're gonna be bigger, and it's gonna be amazing. And I'm gonna rock some mugs, and y'all ain't gonna say anything about it. The Doc Martin Chelsea boots with fuzzy things on the inside. So we all want fuzzy shoes. That's what it is. Fuzzy's a theme going on fuzzy's here. I like the, the buzz. Oh, all right, Katie, out ideas. you're out. Mm -hmm. Okay, Brennan. I'm gonna have to go with some like light shorts because I've got a lot of dark uh, shirts, but I have nothing to trip with. So definitely need some light shorts and like dress pants. Wait, that was two. Did you just did you just yeah, sling yeah. two in there? No, 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 no. They both go like on your legs. Oh, did he say bike shorts or light shorts? Light shorts. Light shorts, like light colored shorts. Right. That are like that are like um, uh, twill. Right. If I knew what twill was. <laughs> yeah. Like shorts that zip up and button, not like sports right. shorts. Okay, got you. Okay, okay, got you. And dress pants. And dress pants, got it. I'm, those were my five. You're Maybe done, five. excellent, you did. I'm Katie, you're good to go? Can I chuck some honorable mentions in there? Sure, yeah. go ahead. A bobblehead, a chessboard, <laughs> uh, winter gloves, and Under Armour sweatpants. Okay. Blue ones, <laughs> dark blue ones. I'm not, I'm fire. only on my second slide. So you can just go through and save off. Okay, um, airy leggings. Sitting after Katie. Yes. Um, these cute le leather pants from Urban Outfitters, an earring set, a ring set, this cute corduroy bag from Urban. It's got pictures. Um, uh, the thread wallet, like thin vertical wallet and a full length um, lanyard. Um, these cute Steve oh Madden gosh. platform shoes. How many pages does she have? A Timberland winter hat Timberland. with a little ball on it and a triangle bathing suit that I really want, it's orange. <laughs> okay. Her whole, her whole thing is just a fashion magazine. And then <laughs> um, a Yeti travel coffee mug and mom's same mug. No. <laughs> oh, are you serious? <laughs> Everybody wants my Uggs. Maybe we'll have a buy to go on <laughs> Maybe, maybe. All right, are you good to go, Kate? Brennan's yeah. waiting in the, in the wings. All right, here we go, Brennan. Hold on, let me zoom in on you. You got some honorable mentions over there? Yeah, I kind of just need some, like, uh, like belt, dress shoes, like, kind of, like, dressy stuff uh, to complete the fit. Also, some creatine, because when I get off Accutane, uh, I'm going to start doing creatine and uh, trying to get bigger. 
And then, of course, you got to throw the Orioles jersey and the OB jersey. They're not as significant as the Justin Herbert jersey, but, you know, you got to represent DMV. And then uh, things that are not closed, because pretty much everything else is closed, just a phone case and, like, a backpack and a hammock. Oh, also a hammock. <laughs> oh, my God. Hear me up. You can tie hammocks in between the trees uh, and land it so just buy. So that would be live. Nice. That's a good college thing. I like okay, it. Nice okay. Cool. Your honorable mention was really good. Yeah, uh, Keaton has one of those. Yeah, he has one of the little, uh, a hammock. A little hammock. Nice. Yeah. That's that's a that's a good gift right there. That's a good gift. That is a good one. All right. Well, Brendan, we're going to see you in a week, aren't we? Very exciting. Today's Thursday. So six days. Yeah, for us. I should start packing now. Honestly. You should start packing now. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope that you enjoyed our Christmas list mm -hmm. and what we're getting for what I'm getting for Nan and Pap. And this is the first year Ryan hasn't asked for a Helly Hansen jacket. That's crazy. Because he so actually I got one. Got it. <laughs> got it last year. <laughs> so comment below um, if you have any comments on <laughs> any Apple list watch. items or any recommendations um, on that. Do you remember? Do you remember when Ryan asked for an Apple Watch and Brennan got an Apple Watch and Ryan cried? Oh. No, 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 no. no, no. I was really he was no, I was so mad. No, I was really young. No, no, no. And then yeah, that Brennan, was the, I mean, Brennan also ago. got a Helly Hansen jacket, and then Katie's best friend got a golf cart. <laughs> and that was when I still put golf cart on my Christmas list. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit. A little bit. So my <laughs> brother, your uncle Tim, used to sit in Christmas morning. He brought his list with him with little check marks, and he would check off the ones he got. And at the very end, he'd be like, "Well, I didn't get this." <laughs> All right, you guys, so thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Comment down below if there's certain things that might be on your Christmas wish list. We'd love to know. And um, also comment below what made you guys happy today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.